Mm, yeah, so the main things that will change is the buffers now have ref count like so. So actually the main thing to keep track of is the buffer array. So this is filter buffer. And ref count now looks like this. And besides that, we're good. I mean, it's a short file. So isn't that nice? This this could potentially work with as little effort as we've put in. Yeah, anyway, let's give it a shot. We're not done with filter buffer sound yet, but I want to compile with our new file. So we are compiling. No, we're not compiling yet. We're compiling now. Three errors. Filter entity .mm. Okay, this is due to the my moving stuff around the draw function. So it says line. What is it? One eighty nine. No pos.x. Ah, uh, okay. I believe only normal physics objects have this stuff. And that could make sense. Yeah. Okay. That's not a problem. We just go to normal physics entity. Stick it there. Because I think we, I made the rule that only normal physics entities would be things that you draw. I think I made that. So I said something like that. So, for example, I wonder if you could do self with a static method. Once it works, we can try it out. Let's try building again. Filter entity 196 undeclared size. Okay. Anyway, those errors have disappeared, and now we have new errors. As you can see, uh, normal physics entity. So I just push that onto normal physics entity. There are different errors though. Ah, right. Now we have the function instead of doing this kind of thing. I think it's just bind texture. Is that right? texture, yep. Okay, let's build again. So now we get some more errors about GL vertices and whatever. No, 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 no. We gotta look at the new one. Yeah, now errors about GL vertex array. And I hate those kind of errors. Oh, that's just including the OpenGL stuff, which wasn't being used here. Yeah. So I can take this.
put it right here. And I notice in filter buffer sound it's complaining that there is no type filter buffer. That's because you're going to need a filter audio mixer. Okay, so one more build. No member named ref count in filter buffer. Did you mean ref count? Yes. What class was that? Filter buffer sound. So that should take care of that one. Um, the other error in output entity looks like no DB. Oh, you know what? Yeah. So this this is a mistake. Output entity does not inherit from filter entity directly. It needs to use normal physics entity, which most of our things that can collide extend from. The only things like camera objects, basically things that you wouldn't. Um, uh, there's still more errors. To include that. Okay. Output entity has a problem with the word buffers. Why would that be? Oh, you know what? Somehow we deleted the definition part. How'd that happen? Yeah. There's only one thing in it. Okay. One more time. Probably five more times. There's no node DB. Hmm. What is NodeDB exactly? I know that's a snakeable object. Each node of the snake would be have a certain size or volume. Ah, yes, this has to be filter. So I can just take this out. We're not using NodeDB for anything. Actually, I'll put it back. It's gotta be so I can so weird about this, but One more, so I said five more times, but it's probably just a couple more times. So one more error, input buffer sound in output entity. Yeah, 
so this is where we create the sounds and they receive the buffers like so at this point I mean this will work fine and it'll play back fine but um, this essentially means it's only going to sound with what there is at the moment So if the, the amount of buffers are growing in output entity uh, and they're growing faster than the rate of playback, you're going to miss out on lots of stuff. But you know, that's all right for now. Okay. Now to tie it all together, uh, what we could do actually is have a have a flag in output buffer sound. Wait, filter buffer sound. That's the name. We could have a flag in filter buffer sound that says being computed and um, should be removed, doesn't exit until that's zero. That needs the guarantee though that you are outputting the sound. What to do, right? Okay. Yeah, we, we can add that shortly. Right now, I want to just make sure that this works. So we have to first implement the collision part right here. When the original voice object hits This is tricky. I realize now that I'm going to have to somehow put out, output entity and voice entity under the same class. So I could subclass from snakeable entity and make like an audio. It's starting to get a little ugly. I wonder if I should use some interface. And what was that called? In Java they were called interface. I can't remember what they're called, but it starts with a P or something. Well, it's actually getting pretty late. I think I'm going to stop here and just write the next step. We didn't get around, unfortunately, to creating the sound. But we can do that soon tomorrow. We were pretty much there. I mean, today there was a lot of code being written. Um, populate sound in update. Yeah. So I'd say it's this kind of order. Attach two collisions. And finally, so this is all done. This is done. This is not no longer an issue. This is now done. Is this what was that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's mostly done. The collision part is going to take care of that. Input buffer sounds subclass. No, nope, we did a new class.